Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today's card uses some simple stamping and I've enhanced it with some detail. So I'm using the flower patch set. Uh, you could use any set that is solid silhouette images. Another one you could use is Botanical Blooms by Stampin' Up. Um, this has some pretty solid flowers and also some leaves in it. So here are the colors I'm using, Bermuda Bay, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and Smoky Slate. I like to add a neutral color in there. It really adds a lot to the card. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is take my Melon Mambo and I've got a piece of Stampin' Up White Whisper White cardstock and I'm gonna ink it up and I'm gonna stamp it down on some scrap cardstock because I'm stamping off all my flowers. Now I noticed I didn't get very good coverage. My ink pad is really, really dry. So um, I have to spend a lot of time getting ink on it. I need to get a refill. But anyway, so I'm gonna stamp it off first and then I'll stamp it on my cardstock. And I'm gonna start with the largest flowers first. And I'm gonna do both of my flowers in Melon Mambo, the big ones. Notice I'm using my stamp -a jig and that's just in case I pull off my block and notice that I don't have good coverage. I can always stamp it again in the same spot. All right, I'm gonna stamp off again. I'm gonna uh, use the stamp -a jig again, and it turns out I didn't have to stamp them twice. I was just worried about it because my ink pad is so dry. Uh, so I've cut a mask out of Post-it, and you can see I've already used it. So I'm just gonna use it again. I'm gonna cover this bottom flower. And my next ink is gonna be Bermuda Bay, and I'm gonna work on the medium size flower. This, uh, this ink pad is much juicier, so I'm not too worried about this one. So I'm gonna ink up my stamp, and then I'm gonna stamp it off. And I'm gonna be careful not to stamp off over the flowers that I've stamped off previously, because some of that ink will actually come up onto my stamp and stamp down. I don't know if that even makes sense, but if you stamped off on top of those pink flowers, you would get pink on the Bermuda, Bla Bermuda Bay. All right, I moved my mask to the top and I'm gonna stamp the blue behind this pink flower here. And then I'm gonna go with my Daffodil Delight and I'm gonna use that same medium flower. So I just have two large ones and then I'm gonna use four of the medium flowers to kind of fill in between. And so I'm just keeping that mask on the top flower. I'm stamping off and then stamping again. And then I'm gonna move my mask to the bottom flower and I've also introduced a mask for that medium flower. So I'll cover those two at the bottom and stamp off and then stamp again so that it looks like it's behind those two flowers. So I'm just sort of building up this flower scene. So I've got two blue, two yellow, two pink. And uh, now I'm gonna start working on the smallest flower. So I created another mask for that other medium flower. And I'm going back to pink and I'm gonna stamp behind there with my pink in a small flower. And then I'm gonna move my mask again to stamp behind the two medium flowers with uh, a Bermuda Bay flower. Now after I get this second small flower down, I filled up most of the major space. So I'm gonna take off all my masks and kind of evaluate where I'm at. And so I notice I've got two yellow in the middle. I really don't have any yellow on the outside. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a yellow to the top here. And then I'm gonna look at it again. And now it looks more balanced. I've got three blue, I've got three yellow, and three pink. And they're all kind of spread out evenly. So I'm gonna fill in some space with my smoky slate. And I'm gonna use just the small one with the smoky slate. And I'm just going to add three of those in different spots, spreading them out to blend them in with the rest. And it really adds a, a nice look to complement the colors with the neutral. All right, now that I'm done with my stamping, I'm going to add some detail. So I'm going to take some Copic markers. I'm using RV19, which is a dark pink, and RV14. And so I mark the center because it is a pretty big flower and you can lose track of the center. And I'm gonna flick upward and I'm gonna make some of them long, my lines, and some of them short. Uh, but I'm gonna try to be careful to go up the petals. And these are really thin petals, so you kind of have to focus on this one. And then after I'm done with the RV19, I'm gonna take the RV14 and I'm really focused on kind of starting a little, maybe halfway down the dark pink and going back up and going over the line of the dark pink and up the petal a little bit further. And uh, this is gonna blend out that RV19. It's really amazing how beautiful the Copic markers blend over the Stampin' Up! ink. I was really surprised how pretty it is. I'm gonna keep this pretty simple. So I'm just gonna use two pink colors for the pink flowers. And so anyway, I'm moving on. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other pink one. 
and uh, then I'm going to move on to the blue. So I'm not going to show you the whole pink one because I'm just doing the same thing I did before. All right, so moving on to the blues, I have BG45 and BG49. Again, I'm going to mark my center and then flick upward. And you want to make sure that you rotate the paper. I know when I'm speeding it up, it gets a little dizzy here, but it's important to flick upward in the direction of the petal. Um, and then again, the same thing, starting kind of a little bit over the dark color and moving a little bit uh, further up the petal. On these medium flowers, you want to make sure that you get the dark color right along the edge coming out of the center, and that'll really make your petals pop. Okay, so for the small ones, I'm doing the same exact thing, the two colors starting at the center. I'm not too worried about the very middle of these flowers because I'm going to be coloring a little white, I'm um, sorry, black dot in the middle. It can get a little tricky as you're working on the flowers in the back because you have to make sure that you avoid the flowers in the front. Anyway, so now moving on to the yellow, and I decided to use orange for this. I really like the way it turned out. So my YR04 is kind of a dark orange, actually, starting in the center, and I'm making, you can see my lines are longer in the middle of the petal, and then I make them a little bit shorter as I work my way out. And then I'm taking my Y17, which is like an orangey yellow, and I'm just pulling that color out a little bit more. And I think the yellow ones turned out to be my favorite. I forgot to mention at the beginning why I stamped off. Um, I really love these vibrant colors, but I wanted to mute them just a little bit so that I would have more variation in color because I wanted the very outside edge of these petals to be really light. So stamping off uh, did a great job of keeping the, the vibrancy of the color yet muting it just a little bit. By the way, stamping off any other ink brand doesn't give you a uh, similar result. I find that the Stampin' Up inks really stamp off beautifully and give you a completely different color. Okay, so now for the for the smoky slate ones, I felt like I needed a little bit more blending. The C4 was a little bit too dark. So I ended up taking C1 and just blending that line of the C4 a little bit more so that it uh, so that it had a nice smooth petal. I'm going to take this stamp that comes in the set and stamp it in here hues just on the large ones, so the well the large and the medium ones. And then for the small ones, I'm going to take my Copic 0.3 liner and just draw a circle in the middle. And now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more detail and I'm gonna take my Copic liner, the 0.3, the same one I just used, and I'm just going to add a bunch of dots over the black dots that I added with the stamp. And this is just gonna sort of fill it in so that it's not just an empty bunch of big large dots. I'm adding a lot of small ones in between. It's really hard to see with the camera. But once I cover the middle area and just kind of blend those big ones in with some small ones, I'm gonna take my dots outward and I'm gonna have them more grouped up at the center and then spread them out as the petal goes out. So I know it's really hard to see this, so I'm gonna add some photos on the blog so you can see the details of, this, of these dots. But it really adds so much to the flowers. My final detail is gonna be a white gel pen, and I'm gonna kinda of get it started on a piece of scrap paper off to the side. And as long as you have a nice, this, this pen is very new, I just got it. Um, but you can kind of tap up and down going straight up vertically from your paper and you should get some really nice rounded dots. So I'm adding dots on top of the black area for all these flowers. I'm not going up the side, just the center. And then I'm gonna use my Misty to stamp my sentiment uh, to make sure I get it in the right spot. I don't wanna mess anything up since I spent a bunch of time on this panel already. So I'm gonna use some Hero Hues Black uh, Ink and then my card's basically finished. I'm just gonna put some ATG tape runner on the back and adhere it to a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock that's just an A2 size, four and a quarter by five and a half. After I was finished, I kind of felt like there was a little bit of a hole in the upper left hand corner. So I decided to mask off the pink flower and stamp one more yellow one to fill that little space. And then I went over it with the Copic markers and the black and um, I didn't have to do the white because the center wasn't showing. But I think that really helped to fill in that final area out there. Anyway, so that's the card for today. A fun and easy way to jazz up your plain old silhouette stamps. Hope you enjoyed that and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.